Hello and welcome back, my Roger Rogies. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Roger Rogue, and today we have a Harry doing whatever it takes to please his wife, making sure he gets that international protected person status. But first, I absolutely need to feature this clip from Lady Colin Campbell's latest video on her YouTube channel and saying that she unleashes on Meghan is an understatement. Maybe this needs a trigger warning, but here it goes. We're supposed to believe every word that comes out of her filthy mouth. Her mouth is dirtier than your or my anus. That's how filthy she is. Graphic, but factual. It is so disturbing. It is truly, in my opinion, evil. Megan, you think I'm being unfair? Sue me. You know where I live. It's your proceedings. I'll see you in court. Not everybody's afraid of you, you frowsy piece of something or the other. You make an amoeba seem like a, an elevated form of life. That's how contemptuous I am of you as a human being. Well, that was indeed savage. I, I have heard some brutal takes from Lady C, but this must be at least in top 10. My only question is, if we know, we now know how Megan compares to uh, Amoebas, uh, where does that leave Harry? I mean, he must be curious, right? He doesn't want to be left out of the Amoeba party. And maybe he should start taking out the Wikipedia entry on Amoebas. I don't know. But meanwhile, Megan made sure to be seen at yet another parking lot. Not for nothing, she has earned the motto of parking lot duchess. What remains to be answered is if uh, we are talking about private or public parking. But the only reason we are seeing Megan in the wild precisely today is because she wants to make sure her lap dog gets the international protected personal status. And how is he going to get it, you ask? Well, maybe they are making up a case with all the online they have been suffering for years, such as this one. Megan and Doria go through too much abuse, harassment, lies, and torment on this app. These freaks truly despise this innocent woman and her family and the rest of us who are black and part black with capital letters have to witness the daily degradation of two of our clothes, their disrespect. And... At the same time, it looks like Megan wants to fix all the chaos that Belen Game and Archie Shadegate have a spark on her own PR camp. The Daily Fail, Megan Markle wears bracelet gifted by King Charles on first outing since royal racists were named in the Netherlands. Sparking speculation, she's using her jewelry to send subtle messages. But is it? Meghan Markle appeared to offer an olive branch to her father-in-law as she wore a bracelet gifted to her by the king in her public, first public appearance since the royal racism row was reignited with the release of mouthpiece Omid Scobie's book. Meghan last wore the bracelet publicly during a hike in May, and prior to that, it hasn't been seen since 2022, lending even more significance to her choice to wear it out today perch on top of her Cartier Love bracelet. Yeah, uh, the same Cartier Love bracelet that Trevor Engelson, her ex-husband, gave her a long time ago, and she keeps wearing. I don't know uh, about you, but if I was Harry, I wouldn't be comfortable with that. Maybe I'm too traditional. Maybe this is something that modern couples do. But that rubs me the wrong way. But maybe Genevieve has the answer to this. Allegedly, Megan exerts complete control over Harry's life. They even share a phone. She dictates finances, his wardrobe, even his thoughts. As Candace Owens pointed out, this is an emotionally abusive dynamic. If the gender roles were reversed, this wouldn't be accepted. So you know, we, we could say that Harry is under Megan's conservatorship. How long until Megan appears on a uh, I, I don't know, Gail King interview 
crying from her left eye, saying that these years have been a struggle with Harry. And then she drops the word problematic. Because you know that narcissists, they need her to talk in some kind of murky code. But as Resting Doll Face shares, how can they publish these videos in the Daily Fail with a straight face? As you can see from the screenshot at the bottom of the screen, there is literally nobody around Meghan and her bodyguard. Not even the children, by the way. Uh, Meghan Markle is in such danger from... Look at how they swarm her as she is going nowhere fast in parking lots. Spoiler alert! The end game is for Meghan Markle to get lifelong taxpayer-funded security like a royal. IPP status with intelligence access to silence people while she does whatever she wants in the pursuit of fame and money. And spinning those headlines they are. Royal News Network, Harry once again utilizing the media to spin a different story about being snubbed from attending the Duke of Westminster's upcoming wedding. Instead of not receiving an invitation, they had a save the date and decline. Sure, right. <laughs> like, this, is, this is pathetic. But uh, let's talk about something beautiful. Let's talk about William and Catherine, who, thanks to Royally Bell, we can see a first look of them arriving at Buckingham Palace for the diplomatic reception, this year's diplomatic reception. And there's a wonderful new picture taken in the 1844 room at Buckingham Palace by Chris Jackson Getty, uh, of her, His Majesty the King, Queen Camilla, and the Prince and Princess of Wales before tonight's diplomatic reception. Also, more pictures coming in really fresh just from a few minutes ago of Catherine looking absolutely stunning. Royally Bale, the Princess of Wales, greeting diplomats this evening. I love how she gives her full attention to whoever she is speaking to. And Thrives Britannia, the Princess of Wales, is leaving everyone, including us, the stunned this evening at Buckingham Palace. And uh, earlier this uh, today, Canel, she's out and about today. The Princess of Wales, patron of Evelina London, officially is uh, opening the new Children's Day Surgery Unit. Power walk and power trouser suit for this lovely woman, Princess of Wales. And Prince William was right on the street selling the big issue. He was pictured on social media wearing a big issue tabard and matching baseball cap with his arm around Mr. Martin in Hammersmith. And it's not every day that people get drunk, uh, I mean, sorry, confused about where I come from. It's like uh, they see me white talking about the British royal family and they instantly assume that I'm English. Like this um, lady who attacked me because of my political views on my other Twitter account. Who led you to believe Americans care what English men think of us? We not ruled by a family forever. And well, the way she used that apostrophe uh, already tells me the kind of person we are dealing with. But but no, uh, seriously, I love when people, even trolls, suggest that I might be British. Oi, it's Tuesday, isn't it? i just joking. You know, I love the British accent and I want to learn to speak it the right way. But I would love to know what do you think about this, this video in the comments. My royal rogues, my name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the royal rogue. And until we meet on another video or another live, remember the two most important words, much love and bliss.